Janinskia. Janinskia, named after Werner Jange, is a large herbivorous sauropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic Tendaguru formation of Tanzania, Africa, 155 million years ago. Discovery and naming. Janinskia has had a convoluted nomenclatural history. In 1907, Eberhard Frost at Site P, 900 meters to the southeast of Tendaguru Hill, discovered two skeletons of gigantic sauropods. They were designated as Skeleton A and Skeleton B. The fossils were transported to the collection of the Stuttgarter Natural in Chamlong in Stuttgart, Germany. Frost in 1908 decided to name both skeletons as different species of one genus, Gigantosaurus. Skeleton A became Gigantosaurus africanus and Skeleton B became Gigantosaurus robustus. The latter species was based on the holotype partial skeleton SMNS 12144, consisting of a right hand line. The specific name was inspired by the heavy build of the animal. While doing so, Frost knew full well that the name Gigantosaurus was already preoccupied by another taxon, Gigantosaurus megalonyx, named by Harry Govier Seeley in 1869. Frost thought his actions could be justified by the fact that the description by Seeley had been limited and that the material of G. megalonyx had since been referred to another genus, Ornithopsis, by Richard Lidecker. In 1911, Richard Sternfeld renamed Gigantosaurus Fraz 1908 into Tornaria, pointing out that Fraz's arguments had been irrelevant. Tornaria africana became the type species of the new genus. G. robustus was placed in Tornaria, as T. robusta. Sternfeld's move was not well received in Germany, as he had acted without consent of the ailing Fraz. In 1922, Werner Jange, who at the Tendaguru have collected additional material, in an article describing the hand of the animal announced that he would keep using the name Gigantosaurus robustus. He claimed that G. megalonyx was a forgotten nomen oblitum and that the rules of the zoological nomenclature should be disregarded if they caused instability by replacing a well-known name by a completely new one. At the same time he synonymized Tornaria with Barosaurus as regarded its type species which then became a Barosaurus africanus. Jange, for the remainder of his career, would consistently apply the name Gigantosaurus robustus. In 1928, Sidney Henry Houghton exceptionally assigned Tornaria robusta to Barosaurus also, as a Barosaurus robustus. In 1930, Baron Franz Nopxa rejected Jange's arguments. He admitted that Sternfeld had been discourteous but pointed out that the ICZN only in 1927 recommended that the original author should be involved in such name changes. It would thus be absurd to object to an article written in 1911, and in any case the lack of courtesy had no bearing on the validity of the name. Nopxa had found several later mentions of G. megalonyx, which thus had not been a nomen oblitum. Furthermore, Gigantosaurus robustus had prior to 1922 not exactly been a well-known name itself. Distasteful as it might be, Nopxa concluded, it was inevitable to consider Tornaria to be a valid name. SMNS 12144 was subsequently referred to Tornaria by other authors. In 1991, German paleontologist Rupert Wilde of the Stuttgart Museum of Natural Sciences clarified the taxonomic status of G. Robustus, by concluding that it was generically distinct from Tornaria. He renamed it Janinskia in honor of Werner Jange, who had studied the vertebrate fauna from Tendaguru. Janinskia was placed in the family Titanosauridae, making it the oldest member of Titanosauria. A number of specimens formerly assigned to Janinskia have been recognized as distinct genera. Two anterior dorsal vertebrae, and a possible posterior cervical vertebra, previously referred to the genus, were named Tendaguria in 2000. On the other hand, the caudal vertebral series MB.R.2091.1-30 does not overlap with SMNS 12144 and instead represents the first taxon of Mamanchisauridae from outside Asia, Wamwara Caudia. Recent cladistic analysis places Janinskia as a non-titanosaur form sauropod. Paleobiology As a sauropod, it would have been a quadrupedal herbivore, 